Hi, this is James from tracymat.co.uk and I'm here at Microsoft uh, headquarters in London to get a, uh, a preview of uh, Windows Phone 7. Now the device you can obviously see here is an LG one, but this is very much a prototype, um, not final hardware, so ignore that bit. And uh, we're first of all going to get a, uh, a brief demonstration of the, uh, the operating system from our, our, our friend here from Microsoft. So uh, all yours. So first thing you can see when the phone is locked is um, very easily my next meeting and number of unread emails. And I'll just unlock the phone by swapping it up. And the first thing that you see that the phone uh, in the start screen has these live tiles that update with information um, that is relevant for me. So I can see in the People Hub pictures of my friends from Facebook or Outlook or any other places. I can see my favorite contacts that I decided to put on the start screen or the cover of an album I just listened to. Uh, pictures I might have taken of my Mandarin driveway with uh, four supercars, uh, my next calendar meetings, number of unread messages on Hotmail or my Xbox Live avatar. And I can also really personalize it. So for instance, I decided to put um, a couple of albums I'm listening to straight on the start screen or a website, in this case the BBC News website or a search result. And you can use the start screen to really personalize and make it very much relevant for you as a user. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at the People Hub, if we can, please. Sure. So the People Hub is the place where you would find your contacts, um, but it does so much more than that. So if I go to the People Hub, the first thing that I will see is pictures of the people I just communicated with, and that could be speaking with or texting or whatnot, and I'm one click away from just contacting them. If I swap to the right, I can see a list of all my contacts. And I can easily jump to another letter by clicking on the letter or click on the search button. And every Windows Phone 7 has a back button, start button, and search button. So for instance, I will look for Tracy. And here she is. Just click on Tracy's contact. And what we do here, we actually import it from Facebook, which is actually your Facebook, mm. um, all the details. So including birthday, that's really useful to know someone's birthday in case you might have missed it. And if I wanted to write on Tracy's wall, that's how easy it is. Okay. I didn't need to open an app for that. And I'll go back. I can also really easily see her what's new feed just by swiping to the right. And we can see Tracy checked into a couple of places in Facebook places and I can see her updates. I can also comment on any of her updates to see what she commented on. So for instance here, uh, I'm opening up and see what someone else might have commented and do like or post, etc. Another thing which you can do really easily is save your favorite contacts to the start screen. And it's as simple as clicking on the contact and cl clicking pin to start. And here's, Stace, here's Tracy. And the second Tracy will change your Facebook picture. It will also update here. Okay. The Pictures Hub is another place where you see the, the tight integration um, that makes it really easy for you to access your pictures from wherever they are. And if I click on the Pictures Hub, you can see a beautiful panorama in the background. And I can see pictures I took on my phone or synced over Wi-Fi for my PC. But I can also just go to all and see all the pictures from my Facebook. They're still on Facebook. And if I wanted to share, for instance, with someone pictures I might have taken, like my photography, I could just click here. And we pull it from Facebook and it's slowly starting to show up. Beautiful photography, by the way. Oh, thank you. And I can click here. And we're now pulling this picture from Facebook and I can pinch and zoom and add comments and whatnot. I can also click here to save it to my phone. And we're saving it to our phone right now. And if I wanted to use that as my new wallpaper, it's really easy. Just click here, use as wallpaper, done. And if I would go now to my lock screen again, here we are. So it's really easy actually. We went to Facebook, we found a picture, we saved it, we set it as wallpaper and that took what? Not too many seconds. So easier, faster to get to the things you care about most. Okay, we're going to have a quick look at the uh, the music services, which will be uh, 
where Zoom's integrated here on uh, Windows Phone 7. Yeah, that's right. And every Windows Phone 7 is also a Zoom player. Um, and we announced last week that Zoom Pass is coming to the UK. For eight ninety nine pounds a month, you would be able to download unlimited tracks to your Windows Phone 7 or to your PC. Um, and that means that if I go now here to the music and video tile, I can really easily see the various music that I've got on my phone. So for instance, I would choose any one of these tracks and I can see nicely the art associated with that specific music that I synced from my PC. But if I wanted to discover new music, it's also really easy. So for instance, if I want to purchase other compositions by Vivaldi, I just click on the marketplace and it pulls up the other albums or compositions in this case, and I'm one click away from now uh, playing and discovering new music. And if I have a Zoom Pass, we will be able to download it. If not, I would be able to purchase the album. And we're now listening to something happening um, and streaming straight from the cloud. If I go back and I wanted to search Marketplace itself, let's click on Marketplace, and we're opening up Zoom Marketplace, and that's a place where you buy music. And we're featuring today Coldplay and Johnny Cash and others. And I can swipe to the right, see the new releases, or top albums or by genre. And let's say I want to discover some of the Johnny Cash albums. So I can see them here really easily. We see the art, we see Johnny Cash uh, photo at the back. And let's say I want to discover this album one click away. And again, Windows Phone goes to the Zoom service and streaming for us the first 30 seconds. And if I like this track, I can just download it, or I can even just click here and click share and tell someone else about it. That was a quick intro into uh, Zoom, music and videos, as well as Johnny Cash and Vivaldi. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with Unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.